Uh, that's right, Doug. For instance, right now happening, we have severe to dramatic storms across the state. Tornado watch in effect for the eastern part of New Mexico. However, an enhanced tornado threat, the more you travel with these storms toward the Texas state line. So let's bring you up to date on all of that. First of all, severe thunderstorm watch in effect throughout the area in the pink. That's going to be expiring around at 6 o'clock as the focus shifts more into this area under a tornado watch. Now, we do have an active tornado warning in the town of Clovis. We don't broadcast to Clovis, but if you know folks there, make sure they are aware of this. We'll work north to south so you get an idea how this is working. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 530, like ping pong to half dollar size hail around Trementina, Springer, Wagon Mound, and up toward that I-25 corridor just to the south of Raton. Here are a look at the storms. Now, you can see a little bit of rotation just to the east of Springer, so it's not under a tornado warning right now, but if this tightens up a bit, it could spawn a tornado. But for right now, you see uh, these storms, yeah, uh, they're moving in a northerly direction. If you're a path of these, you want to get into an interior portion of the building. And again, even this one to the north of Trementina, it has a history of uh, getting a pretty tight rotation, and that's what we're seeing again now. So any one of these could turn tornadic with very little notice. Speaking of, this was in effect until about 515, and the National Weather Service went ahead and expanded a tornado warning, including the Clovis area. So that's like 32,000 people infected inside this polygon that's in enhanced in red over here. And in spite of that, again, we don't have any funnel clouds being reported, but in spite of that, the potential for two inch hail, get that folks, two inch hail as it works in a northeasterly direction. And that will be clipping areas around Clovis and the Melrose base as well. And then uh, an enhanced threat from Clovis down into Carlsbad. Not to think that we couldn't have tornadoes here, but I tell you what, there could be some forming with very little notice as the evening progresses. This is six o'clock as we look at advanced future track, 10 o'clock, See how these storms form? Any one of these could just turn tornadic with large hail with very little notice, and it starts to fan off overnight, and then tomorrow we'll have showers, thunderstorms, and yes, high mountain snows, but as far as the severe threat, most of that shifts to the east of our area. The seven-day forecast, showers, breezy, a couple of thunderstorms around, kind of an uncomfortable day, cool, 61, Thursday, 73 degrees, 78 on Friday, breezy and very warm, above normal temperatures for Saturday, Sunday winds come up again as we get into early next week.